would you describe the respect that the position of DH has gotten over the years, and how might it be different now with you being elected to the Hall of Fame? Um, yeah, I think it has uh, got more respect for sure. Um, uh, the offense is uh, is a big part of of the game, and um, you know, um, someone that plays uh, that position in the age, uh, you have to have a big contribution to uh, to the team. Um, so I think it's uh, uh, it's getting a lot more respect, and now with Harold Baines and myself getting inducted, um, it's going to be even more um, more respect. And in the place, or rather, in the history of DHs, how do you consider yourself? Now, I haven't thought about that. Uh, you know, I uh, hear people saying that you know potentially one of the best DH in uh, in baseball history. Um, um, I, I thought that uh, I had a pretty good career, and um, I guess being elected to the Hall of Fame, that's uh, pretty much uh, proved it, that I, I did have a good, good career. Now, when you became a DH, how did you look at that position for yeah. you? At the beginning, I didn't want to uh, be a DH. Um, I enjoyed playing on the field. Um, I consider myself a good defensive third baseman. Uh, I did have some uh, issues a uh, couple of years in third base, but uh, through my whole career, I was a good defensive uh, third baseman. So um, I resisted at the beginning, uh, but I I had to look at the uh, the team. Uh, we had a very good team. And uh, when my Blowers uh, joined our team, I thought that uh, um, it, it was uh, the right choice for me to, to be the DH. Now, when you were at the plate, what do you think was the biggest challenge for pitchers facing you? Um, the biggest challenge, I guess, in my style, was using the whole field, approach the middle of the field, which allowed me to use the whole field. And um, I think the challenge was to set patterns, you know, and uh, pitch me in one way consistently. Uh, I think that, that would have made it more challenging for, for the pitcher. And what gave you the greatest confidence at the plate? Um, I was, a, as a hitter, I was very confident from ver very early. Uh, since I was a kid, I played every team that I played. I was the best hitter in the team. So I came to, to minor leagues and to the big leagues believing that I was, I, I was going to hit. I never doubt that. Um, and uh, I think uh, I was just a confident uh, hitter. Uh, and I don't have one specific reason why, but uh, I felt that I could, I could hit. When you were called up to the major leagues, what do you remember most about that moment? I remember when the, uh, it was very early in the morning when I got the call. I believe it was like five in the morning or something like that. I needed to be in the, uh, in Seattle and. Uh, uh, that was uh, that was pretty uh, amazing feeling. You um, played, you know, the game for a long time and uh, wonder if uh, you're gonna make it to the big leagues. And uh, when you get the call and when you get to the stadium, it's uh, uh, it's incredible feeling. So where were you? Were you sleeping? And who called you? Well, now that I remember, one time it was uh, I, I was in the um, uh, my the, um, hotel. I used to uh, stay in a hotel in AAA. Uh, when I got the call, it was very early, and uh, but when I got the the first call, uh, it was uh, Bill Plummer, I believe we, it was the manager that told me, brought me to the office and told me that I was gonna go to the big leagues. Um, uh, very 
spatial uh, feeling. What was the first thing you did when he said those words? I just thought about it, and it's like, is this really happening? You know, I didn't know that uh, this was um, real still. It took me a while to believe that I was going to the big leagues. And then what happened from there? Where did you have to go, and what was your first opportunity to actually play? Um, well, the, after that, we, um, I got back to uh, the hotel, got ready, uh, back and uh, I got to to Seattle going to the clubhouse that that was amazing too that was a special occasion yeah just being in the big league clubhouse and uh, the first day I didn't play uh, the second day uh, I play um, I pinch it and uh, the second day that was my first full full game and what happened with the pinch hitting the pinch hitting uh, I hit a fly ball to uh, foul ball uh, to first base um, and it was clear foul, foul ball and uh, I was running like a like I was ahead I was full sprint um, but um, the, the the second day that was when I, I started the game and uh, first at bat I hit a I hit a triple and now I'm going to fast forward to recently when you got the call letting you know you were elected to the Hall of Fame. What went through your mind? Um, you know, it went through my mind. Uh, you think about all the things that you go through from minor leagues, uh, and um, you think about people that, that help you, and um, they they were a big part of uh, your success. Uh, and um, those are the kind of things that went through my mind. And then you start thinking, okay, what are the things that I need to do to prepare for this day? Uh, which I think this is, for the most part, the last few months, that's what I've been thinking, how it's gonna be, how I prepare for, and, um, and how I'm gonna feel. What about the weight that you had? Unlike Mariana Rivera, yeah. who was a first ballot unanimous selection, yeah. the first unanimous selection is in your Hall of Fame class, you had to wait a bit. What was that uncertainty like for you? Um, you know, that at the beginning, it was, I felt like it, what a great honor this is just to be, you know, considered to be a Hall of Famer. Uh, and then, we went through another period where I felt like, oh, I'm never gonna get in. And then again, oh, this might happen. I, I might have a chance to get in. So it was a little bit up and down, um, you know, the, the 10 year. But I tell you, I, it feels, I feel that it was worth it, the wait. Uh, my kids are older. It means a lot more. Uh, because I can share with my kids, you know, and my family. I'm going to ask you about a particular current player in your observations. Mike Trout, mm -hmm. what are the first thoughts that come to mind when I mention those two words, Mike Trout? Mike is, to me, uh, probably the best player in today's game. Uh, and the toughest out in big leagues. Um, and all around player, he can play defense. Uh, one of the best outfielders, he can throw, he can run, hit for power, hit for average. He can take a walk. He can do anything on, on the field. Uh, and it, it looks to me like his uh, makeup is also uh, very unique which uh, it makes him, you know, a future Hall of Famer. What hitters or just regular players in general does he most remind you of? You know, he can, um, he's a right-hander, but his uh, skills and uh, the way he played the game uh, remind me of Junior. Um, uh, both play center field. Um, and, and both have the uh, five tools 
and instinct um, and um, you know that the numbers that they can they can put is uh, kind of similar junior hit more home runs uh, for for a long time but uh, uh, it remind me a little bit of junior what he can do in, in the field that's not a bad comparison yeah <laughs> yeah what does that say about Mike Trout that here as a young player he's being compared to this Hall of Famer Ken Griffey Jr. Um, yeah, that he's um, he should be, you know, in the future it should be a Hall of Famer. Great. Now getting back to you, what do you take most pride in among your accomplishments? Uh, I think the high average uh, on base percentage. Uh, been able to um, um, to get on base, uh, you know, have uh, pretty good knowledge of the strike zone and uh, uh, and hit at the same time hit for high average. And how about a particular moment that you most enjoy remembering? Mm-hmm. Um, I think the 95 series uh, and uh, the whole month of September was incredible in 95. Um, so I think that uh, series when we won in 95 uh, against New York is probably one of the, um, my best moments, I think. What do you think it will mean to you in the years to come to have your plaque up there in that gallery with the greatest legends of the history of the sport? It means a lot. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a w great honor and reward for, you know, all the hard work and everything that um, I wanted to do uh, playing the game and uh, was able to achieve. It's a lot of satisfaction in that. Um, um, at the same time, it's, it's the highest honor, which it makes me uh, feel uh, really good about it. What have you heard said about you that means the most to you? Um, one of the best uh, right-hander hitters, I guess. Um, I take pride on that, uh, and I, I consider that to be a great honor too. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.